So, do they know that you're homeless? Yes, because my older daughter came up. She's a minister. She came to get me away from this right here. I told her I had other things I was trying to straighten up before I could come home. And I just never go back. Never went back. Why not? I don't know, man. I, you know, and then probably messing around with drugs, you know. What drugs? Crack. Okay. Let me ask this. How old were you the first time that you smoked crack? At least about 26, 27. Okay, okay. And, I mean, when was the last time you smoked crack? What's up, YouTube? Atlanta Street Interviews out here with another one. Um, so we got my man out here today. How you doing today, man? Fine, brother. All right, are you homeless? I am. Okay, how old are you? 72. 72? Yes, sir. And so, how long have you been homeless? Over 15 or 20 years. Okay, let me ask you this way. When was the last time you had a roof over your head? It's the only roof I had. The last time I had a roof over my head, at least 15 years ago. Okay, okay. All right, um, do you have any kids? Yes, I do. How many kids you got? I got three. Three? How old is the oldest? How young is the youngest? The oldest one is 44. The youngest one is 27. Okay. Um, and have you ever been married? Yes, I have. Okay, how many times? Once. Once? Are you still married? No. No? What age did you get married at? Uh, about 20, 32. 32? Yeah. And how long did that marriage last? Okay, I, we, we shot together for five years. When we got married, we lasted three years. Okay, so eight, eight years total? Yeah. Three married? Did any of the kids come out of that marriage? Uh, one. The youngest? Uh, the oldest. The oldest, okay. Where the other two? No, no, I'm wrong. The second one, which is a boy, he's the second child. You're two girls and one boy. <clears throat> okay, how many different moms? Three. Okay, okay. <clears throat> All right, and so let's start from the beginning, man. So where are you from, man? I'm from Millersville, Georgia. Georgia. Shout out Millersville, shout out Millersville. Shout out. <laughs> That's County, man. Hey, shout it out, shout it out. <laughs> yeah. All right, man, and so, you know, growing up in Millersville, did you have both your mom and your dad in the household? No, just your mother. My just mom? mom? Yeah. And so where was dad? Dad was out in the street with another family. Okay, so he had another family. Yeah. So was that his main family and you was like kind of the side yeah, type well, deal? Well, yeah, we was on the side. Okay. You know more or less because he stayed with them. You stayed with who? He stayed with them, my dad. Okay, okay, yeah, he lived with them. Yeah. And so did you have any brothers and sisters? Yes, I do have seven. Seven? Yeah. And do, how many different dads? The last four were by the same man, and the first four were by different men. No, the first two was by the same man, and the second two was by different men. Okay, and so where were you in the birth order? I was the third child. Okay, okay. All right, and so was your mom ever married? Not that I know of. Okay, okay. All right, and so growing up, you know, despite kind of your father being, you know, having a, another family. Uh, would you say that you had a fairly normal childhood? I would say that because that's all I knew. You okay. know what I'm trying to say at the time. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. That was your perspective. I made my best out of what was Okay, and so did you go to high school? No, I didn't. So you never made it to high school? Never made it to high school. All right, man, we had a little interruption, man, but you were saying that you dropped out. Um, why'd you not go to high school? Because uh, daddy went in the house and mother, she did. She did, she, you know, get on her little for drinking, and we just did what we wanted to do. So she was kind of an alcoholic? Yes, she was. Okay, okay, so you guys were just doing what you wanted to do? Yes, you know, because she didn't have time, because when she got on it, she might have done it two months. Okay, okay. All right, and so, I mean, so, what was, you, what was your early kind of, what was your teenage years and your 20s, what were they like? They were the best years that I thought I ever had. What type of stuff was you doing? Everything, trying to be a man. Uh, I had my first child, I was 16. You were 16? Yes. Okay. Um, well, let me ask this. I mean, what age did you lose your virginity? It was a long time back because I, I hung around with, with young, a lot of young girls, and they would take me with them to the bathroom because we had outside toilets. 
and you, they, you know. You say to the outhouse? Yeah. It was like an outside bathroom? Yeah. And they would take you, then do what? Then we play with them. And, you know, stick my little down them, whatever. You know, whoever's 13 years old. 13? Yeah. Okay. And so you say you had your first child by 16. How old was the mom? Uh, she was seven years younger than me. So you were 16? Yeah. So she was right around. She was, my child was at 16. That's when, when she was born, I was 16 years old. So me and the, uh, her mother, we couldn't have been no more than three to four years different. Okay, so was she, she was younger than you though? Yes. Okay, so she was about three or four years younger? Yes. So she was like 12 or 13. Okay, okay. All right, and so, I mean, your kids, let me ask this. You know, how are they living right now? Are they doing, how are they are in life? Well, last time I uh, talked to my daughter, she's a minister now. She came That's the to, oldest? That's the oldest. Okay. And the, the uh, other one, I got one up here, and she's 27. And I got my son that was with my marriage. He's okay. back home too. Okay, so the, the first two were in Millersville? Yes. Okay, okay. And so, do they know that you're homeless? Yes, my, my only daughter came up about a, almost a year back to my wife not very years. All right, so hold on, hold on. We, we couldn't hear because of that. But, but go ahead, so so do they know that you're homeless? Yes, because my only daughter came up. She's a minister. She came to get me away from this right here. I told her I had other things I was trying to straighten up before I could come home. And I just never go back, never went back. Why not? I don't know, man. I, you know, and then probably... Messing around with drugs, you know. What drugs? Crack. Okay. Let me ask this. How old were you the first time that you smoked crack? At least about 26, 27. Okay. Okay. And, I mean, when was the last time you smoked crack? Last week. Okay. And so, I mean, it doesn't seem like, so that's not really something that you're trying to kick right now, right? Uh, that I'm ill, but at the same time, I'm, I'm, I'm trying to learn from my mistakes. You know, I'm, I'm here because this is where I think God wants me to pick up something. That, see, I'm leaving in the next month. Where are you going? I'm going to try to give me a place. I'm 72 years old. I get a check in. Huh? Okay. So, I mean, so why not take your daughter up on her offer? I hadn't changed my mind yet. It's still on the table. Let me ask this, I mean, growing up, would you say that you was an active father or not so much? I was active. You was active? Yeah. If, if I asked, um, you know, if I asked your kids like on a scale of one to 10, the same question, what do you think their response would be? Between eight and 10. Okay, so you was very active. Yes. So I mean, it's probably breaking their heart to see you kind of homeless like this. Right, right. So I, I mean, so knowing that it's breaking their heart, that's not something that you would want to say, okay, let me go back and she's a minister, you know, they've got their life together. Let me at least have a roof over my head so that I'm getting a check anyway so I can, you know, kind of stack up some money and get back on my feet. You have, you have. So is mind. it basically just the drugs that are preventing you? Like you don't want to bring that around them or that, what? That is my trouble that comes with it. You say the trouble that comes with it? Come with it. Like what? Well, you have people coming to your house telling folks things that they don't have no business, you know, gossiping to your, your, your children about. Like what? You know what you're doing and, you know, you know, you know, you know my, what I'm saying, I know they know because my daughter came up here two weeks had to get me back. They told me, so dad, all you got to do is come home. You ain't got to worry about no rent. I have a place when you... Get him in your own place, everything. You ain't got to worry about that. So now, you know, I just told us, well, I got you. Think about it. You know, I hadn't said no. And then my youngest daughter, which is up here now, mm -hmm. she said, Daddy, you won't stay with me. I, I said, I said, my oldest daughter named Lisa. Okay. My youngest daughter named Talisha. Okay. And uh, my youngest daughter, so I want you to stay with me. I said, no, my uh, oldest sister up here now. And, she asked me to go back with her, but I go and going back with her. Yeah. Okay, man. Okay. So I mean, it sounds like your kids really love you. Yes, they do. They, they um, two girls. They girls don't play with the dad. They love the dad. That's a good thing, man. Yeah. That's a good thing. They love the dad. <laughs> that's, that's a good thing.
All right, man, so let me ask this, man. If you could get in a time machine, right, and you could go back to any age that you ever was, but you only had 30 seconds to be back in the past. So just imagine, you show up to whatever age you go to, but you look just like this, like how you look now. Mm -hmm. What would you tell yourself in those 30 seconds to try to prevent this fate that you have right now? Would, and what age would you go to first? And then what would you tell yourself? My age I would go to first, I would say I would go to my 20s. Okay, what would you tell yourself? I would tell myself that, you know, God runs things over me. Uh, he come first in my life. Uh, my children and anything that carry life in it. I love it because God is there. That's what you would tell yourself, your 20 year old self? All right, man. I ain't mad at it. All right, so listen, if anybody out there, if they wanted to reach out or help or donate, um, do you have any way that people could kind of get in touch with you? Do you have a social media cash app, anything like that? No, not a social media. I just have a card that I get from the government. Uh, Where do you normally panhandle it? I don't panhandle. I might, I might go up there in the uh, uh, Centennial Park and sit around with Ben Spinner and Dane too. Up there, you know, just kicking it. Okay. Well, listen, man, listen, we really appreciate you, man, taking the time, answering all of our questions, man. And we wish you nothing but the best out here, all right? Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. All right, man. Have you a good one.